Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Lojak. We are continuing our Into the Weekend with BetDSI, a show that we do every Thursday with Brent, the headlines manager at DSI Sportsbook, where he uh, discusses the betting action that he's seen over the past week for the weekends, uh, for the upcoming weekend's major uh, sporting events. We just got finished discussing college football week five. Now we're going to move on to NFL week four. Brent, thanks for being here once again. All right, first question that I have for you is, how many teasers do you have that do not include Indianapolis? I'm not sure we have any, Peter. <laughs> right, that's got to be the biggest public teaser side of the year, right? Yeah, I mean, we, Indianapolis is huge. Denver, of course, is huge. Right. And New Orleans on Monday night actually is, is bigger than I expected. But those are, those are the three biggest ones for sure. But I'm, so I'm assuming you're just overwhelmed, right, with Jacksonville teasers and Denver teasers. So if either one of those teaser sides doesn't hit, I'm assuming it'll be uh, automatically a good weekend for you, right? Yeah, no, if Jacksonville busts up teasers and, uh, and, uh, and, sorry, and, and Philadelphia hangs in there, those right. will be good for us, yeah. Okay, and our, uh, is the public betting uh, Indianapolis just on the, on the spread? Yeah, no, I mean, our, our count on that game is, is ridiculous. It, really? The number of wagers is about 10 to 1 in favor of Indianapolis. Wow. Our money is about 6 to 1. So we've got a little bit on Jacksonville, but nothing in, you know, nothing of note at all. And there's no, no sharps involved in this game really at this point. Indianapolis is sitting minus 7.5, a total of 42. People haven't really touched the total. We're actually pretty balanced on the total right now, but the count is, like I said, is like 10 to 1 in favor of Indianapolis. All right, but I think the important thing to take away is that the Sharps, as of yet, have not, uh, well, they haven't come in on Indianapolis, and they haven't come on the home dog yet. Unfortunately, no, they haven't. Right, okay. And then the rest of the card, it's all a bunch of small underdogs, a bunch of small home underdogs. So that makes me think that on a bunch of these sides, you've got some pretty notable sharp action and maybe some, uh, some very stark, sharp public splits. Let's start with uh, two of the public sides, two of the sides that I think uh, the public is probably going to be all over. First one, Seattle at Houston. I've got to assume that the uh, public is huge on Seattle. And if that's true, then probably the sharps are on Houston because the lines actually moved down a bit. Actually, we had sharp money both ways on this game. I had okay. them sharps laying two and a half with Seattle. I also had them taking plus three when it was uh, minus 05 on Houston. So we got sharps both sides of this game, Peter. Our count is about three to one on Seattle, so that's where your public money comes in driving mm -hmm. that up. But our money's not too bad on this game. Uh, the, the count, you know, in terms of teasers and parties and stuff would obviously favor Seattle. And, I mean, Houston, I guess, are kind of waiting on Andre Johnson. That might, might be why the, the, the Sharps haven't come on in Houston yet to see how Johnson is before game time. But right now we got money, like I said, both ways in terms of Sharps. And it, it, it's kind of all about the price. I mean, Houston right. plus three, minus 110. You can't get that right now, so that's why it was Sharp. <laughs> right, right, right. No, I mean, so if, it's, if the count's only three to one, then that means that the public's not overwhelmingly on Seattle. That's a little bit surprising to me. Not on straights, yeah. Right. Okay, and then the other one that I would just assume, you know, Dallas, always a public favorite team, so when they start covering, you know, game after game, here we are week four, Dallas has covered all three of their first week, uh, first three weeks. Yeah, I'm assuming the public's all over them again. Yeah, we got a, a sharp public split there. We do have really? sharp money on San Diego plus the two and a half. Really? They're betting the, the public is betting Dallas minus the two. We're sitting there right now. So our money, because of the sharp money, is pretty much even. But the count favors Dallas probably about two or three to one right now. But uh, yeah, San Diego as a, as a home dog is looking live there. Sharps there plus two and a half, Peter. And uh, actually got a lot of uh, sharp money on the over in this game. Hmm. Uh, sharps took the over 45. And uh, the public is actually, I mean, public obviously is, is over players as well, generally speaking. So we've got sharps on the over at 45. The pu public has kind of tailed that, driven it all the way up to 46 and a half. Most of the public money came around 46, so we're sitting here just kind of waiting for some money to come back the other way. Not sure if we're going to get it, though. All right, and then the other game I want to ask you about, you know, Giants at KC. When you come off, you know, the kind of game that the Giants are coming off of, getting absolutely blown out, shut out like that, and then they're playing a pretty decent team in KC, I guess I would have to assume that the public's going to bet against the Giants, unless maybe they they like to uh, you know, try to time a rebound by a, by a marquee uh, name team like that. Yeah, it's funny. We talk about Kansas City being a decent team now. It's like yeah, they <laughs> Kansas are. City, I mean, they were so bad for so long. Um, I do have sharp money actually on the Giants when it was the line was four and a half and five, and I also have money now on, on Kansas City now that line is four. So we're split there. Our money is about two to one now. Teasers and stuff. More of them do involve San Diego at, or Kansas City at home, mm -hmm. but not a ton. There's not a huge decision for us. Like I said, we got split money from sharps on at four on Kansas City, four and a half and five taking the, on the Giants. So it's been a, that's a decent game for us. We should sit back and ha not have a big decision there. And then I'm thinking that the Monday night game, you know, the Saints are kind of like a team with some buzz this year. Two undefeated teams, you know, that's a little bit unusual. Are you happy about that? Does that mean that the uh, handle will be uh, unusually large this Monday? 
No, I'm, Monday night, you know, our, our our handle is always really, okay. really good. I mean, Miami's been impressive this year coming in at 3-0, and but uh, New Orleans, we definitely have money. I mean, public obviously is going to be on New Orleans. The count mm-hmm. there is about 3-1. to one. Our money's about 3-1 to one as well, and the Sharps did come on, on on New Orleans, which probably is a little scary for us because yep. they did take them when it was 5.5 and, and 6. Now we're sitting at 6.5 with New Orleans at home. We'll probably go 6.5 minus 15, maybe 7, dog 20 by game time if we need to even up. Uh, public, of course, all over the, the 47 and 40. 48 right now we're still at 48 but it's, it's all public money on the over sharps haven't got in on the on the total there but they did take new orleans on the side at five and a half and six all right well that's all uh, that i wanted to ask you about in the way of uh, specific games that i wanted to mention is there anything else you can tell us about the upcoming nfl card in the way of sharp public splits public action or sharp action well, just to, to to go back, we did take uh, we did have San Diego money plus mm-hmm. two and a half was right. sharp. The public was all over Dallas. Also over in the San Diego game, they went over forty five. And actually, Washington at Oakland is a big game. We've got a lot of money on Oakland plus three and a half from the mm-hmm. Sharps. I'm using three and a half dog fifteen right now. I'll probably end up three minus or three minus twenty or three minus fifteen closer to game time because I think the Sharps going to be all over Oakland there and they have so far. So we've got uh, Oakland sharp money there plus three and a half. The public of course is all over on that game but there's no no sharp money on that total and the Jets were a sharp play at plus four and a half mm. now that line is all washed up Tennessee's minus three minus 20 right now so yeah you could buy it to three and a half or something but the sharp money that came on the Jets was at four and one last sharp play we have is the Philadelphia at Denver total. We're sitting at uh, at, a, at a big number of 57 and a half right yeah. now. It's just insane. <laughs> NFL game with a total of 57 and a half, but we had the sharps actually going over 56 and a half. So that's where we are now. Our count is about five to one over. Public is all over on that game as you would expect, but uh, and it's not good for us when the sharps are also on the over, and they are over 56 and a half. Wow, unbelievable. All right, Sharps taken over in the huge total on the, uh, on the Denver-Philly game. Thanks so much, Brent. Really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you again next week.